Arcade Paradise made a perfect link to sometimes what mental health is about. You know, you have to push hard and you're, you're, everyone's fighting against you and it's up to you to really sort of, you know, make an effort. The music, the Arcade Paradise, the lead song, was created by Stu Brutal and he's the lead artist on Ivor and the Horde, co-written by Kieran. And the whole premise of the song is about the, the angst this kid has. It, it sounds quite angry, but it's mainly uh, an empowerment song. It's written from the perspective of becoming empowered and uh, taking back your, uh, your ability to choose and make your life the way that you want it, you know? And I think that that resonates with every single person on this planet. You ain't the king of Jack, Babylon brain stuck on the track, right on the course, we're feeling all that you left. What we decided to do at Wired was release Arcade Paradise EP as a single, and on Bandcamp, every single penny, cent, ruble, every single bit of money that comes in on Bandcamp, on Arcade Paradise EP, is gonna to go to Safe In Our World. So basically asking everyone to support, everyone to, to stream it when it goes live, everyone to share it, get the message out there, and, and if you wanna spend a couple of quid and support Safe In Our World, do it, it's going to a great cause. Safe in Our World is the video game mental health charity. It was set up in 2019. The main point of it is to destigmatize the conversation around mental health in the video games industry for video gamers and for industry alike, globally. There's different programs to do with companies signing up for something called Level Up, where they can get a load of assistance on how to implement mental health policies within the companies, or just how to generally look after their people from first aid courses to how to look after them in, in communities and give people the tools to be able to deal with people and communicate with people who've got mental health problems. And also safeinourworld.org, the website, has every reference globally to every mental health resource that you're likely to need. And you'll find articles on different types of problems like anxiety, um, depression, etc. And you'll also be able to hear from leading people from the industry, their stories, what we call them hero stories, about how the mental health has affected them and how they're dealing with it in real life and how it's within the world. I think the fact that the money from uh, Arcade Paradise, you know, the single was going to like the, the mental health charity is incredibly cool. You know, it's something very close to my heart. You know, us creatives, we are very sensitive souls and um, I think it's very similar for the gaming community too. So anything that uh, goes to bring awareness to that and help people within that environment, then yeah, it's always a good thing. So Arcade Paradise is about a dad who gives zero respect to his downtrodden, no-hope kid. But then dad gives the kid the keys to the laundrette and the kid says, well, you know what, um, sod you, I'm going to prove you wrong, I'm going to show you what I'm all about. So really, Arcade Paradise is a no-hope story, but really motivational. Safe in our world, uh, I think that it's super positive. It's a really, really great thing to have inside of like a, a subculture like gamers. Having the will to help other people is what this world needs more of. Having compassion that way and I'm super happy to be a part of it. Blood, blood.